you might notice something different. I'm standing today. <laughs> just for like a change of pace, just for a little bit of something different, you know? Because I feel like I would be a little bit more active. But then I'm, I'm now realizing this top that I'm wearing is really like, makes a lot of sound if I shake, so. Okay, so I've been like doing so much sea beauty, I guess. So I figured, oh, girl, I live in Korea. I decided to stay in Korea when I first came here because I was like, you know what? I have access to the K-beauty. But now, honey, everyone's come to Korea doing the little TikTok. So y'all get the K-beauty information much faster now. But uh, you know what? Um, we're gonna get back into K-beauty today. So <laughs> it was the Olive Young sale recently. And whenever there's an Olive Young sale, honey, the girls come out to play. So I just went there, bought some stuff. First thing though is not from Olive Young. One of my favorite content creators, Miss Pony. A few videos, like a video or two, she uh, had like a PP at like, I don't know most of our videos have product placement, but one of them had like the, like a mist. And so that brand uh, contacted her again and was like, girl, we want to collaborate with you. So they did. And so what they did is release that mist, but in a special edition where she has like this illustration and it comes with stickers that she illustrated that you can stick onto the, the mist. This itself is literally just the original packaging with like a slip that they made to cover it. That was designed by Miss Pony herself. Like this, and girl, this shit is like flimsy hell. It doesn't even fit in there properly. But this is the Pure Cell 24/7 Colostrum Pore Defense Ample with Pixel Bucket. <laughs> Whatever the fuck that means. Uh, they also released a very special limited edition pink version of this. If y'all didn't know Pony before she was a makeup artist, actually she she does Chunsomi's makeup. If you saw uh, Chunsomi's recent vlog when she had a schedule in Thailand, if you, you can see Pony in the back. Oh, it's really transparent. Oh lord, not this. Look at that. Because the packaging is so round, the sticker doesn't stick flat. Or maybe I just suck at this. Whew. Not a fine mist at all. It was like spray. It was like spritzing at me. It's spritzing and also the radius is really small. So I felt like I had to keep doing it. But apparently this is supposed to be really good for before makeup and after makeup. Uh, but it's not, it's not like a setting or fixing mist or anything. It's literally just a um, skincare mist, but uh, apparently it doesn't disturb your makeup or anything. All right, let's go with base. This is the new Clio um, Kill Cover High Glow Cushion. There's already a glow cushion, but this is like the new full coverage version. Comes with, oh, oh shit. <gasps> I did not know it came with a highlighter. <gasps> I love that. See, the, the, that's the thing about Olive Young. They have a lot of special little deals, special kits and sets that you can only get at Olive Young. So if you saw my reaction to James Charles doing K beauty makeup, he used the original Prism highlight. I think this is the updated version. So I guess we can try that. It also comes with two extra puffs and of course the beautiful cushion. That's so pretty. I love like this water drop effect. Kill Cover High Glow Cushion creates a perfect coverage with glass like glow. And I got mine in the shade 3BY Linen. But girl, I never, well, as we all know, Cleo and their co cushion colors are just a little bit, what I guess so. The puff itself, it's much wider compared to other ones. It's not as circle-ish. And there is a little bit of a teardrop at the top, but I don't think it really like, and also it's really thin. You guys know I've been so into my like really fat, squishy Chinese puffs. So this feels like nothing to me, but... Dipping a little bit here. And then Yang Chujua on the lid. Well, that looks like it's gonna be pretty good coverage. Um... That's like a light to medium coverage, I feel like. Let me try building it up. There is a hair on my face. Again, Yang Chujua on the lid. Oh God, I think I got too much. But the glow is so pretty. We'll see if it stays though, because sometimes when you first apply it, it looks, oh my God, glowy, yes, yes, yes. But then she goes away because your skin, especially if you're dehydrated like me, it will suck up the, the foundation and you'll just look dry again. I've talked with a few people lately about how, even some idols I've met, we talk about like makeup and stuff. And a lot of them are like, uh, oh, I prefer liquid foundation because even my one friend who isn't even in makeup, he like does makeup sometimes, but he's like, oh, I don't know, just whatever. Even he's like, I don't really like cushions because compared to liquid foundation, it's much thinner. It doesn't last longer on the skin. It's better for touch-ups, but do you really want to buy a whole ass cushion for just touching up? And the thing is, a lot of these people that have the same sentiments as me are people that don't have like perfect skin, right? 
or actually no, even some of them have great skin, but they might be more dry or they might be more dehydrated because the formula has to be thinner to be able to get into the, the liquid puff. They're much thinner, which is, you know, I always talk about apply your foundation in thin layers, but that doesn't necessarily mean a thin foundation is always good. Those foundations tend to crack and dry up faster on the skin because they're so thin. The more thicker foundations that have a little bit more moisture in them last a little bit longer on the skin because, you know, it's thicker, it has that resistance, you know what I mean? So it's better to get those thicker liquid foundations and apply those thinly rather than getting a thinner foundation where you might have to build it up more. But uh, this is, oh shit. Okay. It has almost like a, a baby powder smell, but a little bit more perfumey. It reminds me of like the rosemary that my my grandma has and it smells like roses, I guess. That plus baby powder. So there's the finish. Finish? It looks really nice. I hope that it's long wearing. I'll see if I can film a little update at the end of the video. Uh, okay, so after I filmed that video, I wanted to see how the foundation worked on its own because obviously I powdered the whole damn thing and I feel like that makes no sense when it's a glowy foundation. So I put it on, ended up hanging out with my friend that night and we went drinking and I got home late and I fell asleep in my makeup. So this is how she's looking after God knows how many hours. And um, it actually was not as glowy on my skin eventually because uh, I guess because my skin is more dehydrated. Uh, she Girl, she sucked up that glow. So I don't know why it was so glowy in the, the, the video, but it, it was more of a satin finish on me after it really set. But I mean, she lasted pretty well on my skin. So even though it kind of like erased on here. But uh, if you're in Korea and you have access to Kupang, or uh, even if you're in Korea and there's like an art store that you can find, look for this Hua Hong number four brush. It's the shape. The smaller one is a really famous brush for both lip and concealer products. These brushes are so fucking cheap, but they're perfect for getting that flat lay down of color or concealer. But this size is perfect for quickly doing like my beard area, but also my dark circles. If you have more of like a wider dark circle. You see how thin it just like lays it down. And especially like right here. Yeah, this is why I should have done it before. Oh my god. I forgot that I got a concealer too. This is Cleo's new Kill Cover Found Wear Concealer. It's like relatively new. I believe I saw some Korean YouTubers talking about this a while ago because they came out with a new liquid foundation. So they came out with this concealer to go along with it. It's a beautiful rhombus shape. Rhombus? This one is also in the shade uh, Linen. I'm actually going to use a setting brush from Real Techniques to blend that out. Oh my god, this, I, okay, look, my base looks amazing, but I don't like this level of coverage because it looks so heavy in person. Like, it looks great on camera, but in person, like, do you see how I obliterated my dark circles? This is not originally what I tend to like to do because it doesn't matter if I'm wearing eyeshadow afterwards, but I do like a natural bit of color on my eyes, and clearly I got rid of all of that. And you can see when you really conceal up to your eye here, it looks like I look... <laughs> It makes your eyes look smaller and you look really heavy, like you wore a lot of makeup, so. Not my favorite uh, way of applying foundation, but I guess we're gonna have to put extra eyeshadow on today. I'm just gonna quickly do powder or under my eyes and around my face lightly. And then for the rest of my face, just using a big powder brush. And then just quickly fill in my brows just with this pencil from AliExpress. Okay, and then I feel, oh, <gasps> yeah. Oh my God. The girlies on TikTok are trying to look Asian now. I, here I am. I guess I'm trying to look Caucasian. <laughs> with my fucking blue eye contacts and shit. I got this because Eddie tried it and he loves it apparently and they had it during the Olive Young sale so I got it. It's a Deshiku V-Cut Blending Shading and number two, Cool Blending. This Olive Young only set comes with a brush which I guess is for nose contour so let's try her out. According to the back of the box it's supposed to be non, like no fallout, no like clumping or anything. It's supposed to be smooth and blendable so I mean... It's, con it's Korean powders, like I don't expect anything less. It comes with three shades, light, medium, dark. The dark one seems to be a little bit more warmer compared to the other ones. So I think what I want to do is use this one. To, uh, it comes with this kind of brush, by the way, which I don't really like for nose contour. I prefer, this is great for if you have more round features and more of like a flatter like face or whatever. But since my face, <laughs> I mean, obviously I got a nose job already. So I do like to use a little bit more precise uh, brushes because with brushes like this, it can tend to go everywhere for me. I'll use the medium one to get like, this, these points here that I like to emphasize. Here, under my nose, in here, this pocket 
in my eye going down to my nose. If you leave this bit of skin just natural, like no contour in there, it makes your nose look shorter and it just looks more natural. I notice that if I do shade all the way up here sometimes, I look, I look like this. So just keep it in the very deep pocket of the eye, eye hole. Yeah, I don't like this brush. I'm gonna use this one that I stole from Eddie. I love cutting off my nose here at the very end. Ooh, I like that. That was smooth. Now I'm gonna use this darker color on this brush. And lately it's been, there's been, I don't know, it's probably just my For You page, but um, in the West, usually they'll contour like the cheekbone like this, right? But on Asian faces, that doesn't really work because Asian faces tend to be rounder. So doing that, it just looks like a line that's obvious here. So rather than a line under the cheekbone, it makes more sense to do a kind of like a rhombus, Inga. It's more so just literally going down vertically. And actually, this is what I've always been doing for years. So when I see the girlies, I guess I'm that bitch. I'm that bitch. When I see the girls doing technique that I've been doing, I'm like, honey, you're tardy for the party. But it's nice that they're discovering those techniques because I don't know, sometimes, especially if you're more influenced by Western makeup, those can sometimes only fit certain faces. So for me, even though I'm Asian, I do have features of my face that I can't necessarily do all K-beauty techniques with it. So I do like a mix of both Western and Asian beauty techniques. So it's nice to see these people with more, you know, that grew up in America or like in the West who used to do more Western makeup, learning these more Asian, K-beauty, C-beauty, whatever techniques, uh, because usually they tend to fit the face better. This base is looking fantastic. Now, although this base to me looks a little bit not heavy, but just like flat because I'm literally just one color right now. I, I think it's a great canvas for the rest of my color makeup that I'm gonna do today. You know what? Let's try the prism highlighter that we got in there while we're at it just because it's new K-beauty, so. Hey! Oh God, bitch. Girl, I still love me a good, like this, I feel like some people think this like highlight on the very tip of the nose is like really 2016, but I still fucking love it. <laughs> All right, so Lily by Red came out with these, their new collection, the Love Call collection. And like many collections these days, it came out with a warm and a cool version. There's two eyeshadow palette sets, the warm and cool, and they both come with like a, a glitter. On the same display, they also have these two blushes to match the shadow palettes. So today, I do want to try the cool palette. My thing keeps falling off my shoulder, but I feel, I kind of feel like Ariana Grande. Do you guys remember that era of YouTube where like girls that were literally on social media pretending to be Ariana Grande? And people would be like, oh my God, oh my God. There was literally also that girl that looks like Taylor Swift and she even went to the Taylor Swift Eras concert where she was clearly walking around to make people, you know, go up to be like, oh my God, is it you, Taylor? Okay, whatever, do you, you do you. But it's wild to me that there are people like that. Same haircut, same makeup style. This girl got the same exact cat as Taylor Swift's. It was wild. Ooh, this is so pretty. So let's try a mix of these two. Oh God, so pretty. I forgot to do my egg hair. And then let's go in with a mix of these two colors to deepen my eyes. And then I'm gonna use the same colors basically to line, you know, my little waterline extension. Like I mentioned earlier in the video when, when I say I don't like concealing all the way up to my eye line because it makes my eyes look smaller. If you happen to do it, and maybe some, there's some people that have to do that because I don't know, maybe they have such bad discoloration under their eye. To get the kind of life back into your eyes, do this sort of eyeshadow thing where you kind of line the very lash line, then you get back that sort of definition in your eye. And actually I'm gonna use the same second to dark color in the palette to redo my egg is higher. Oh my God, I've been like hyper mode. Like generally I would upload once a week, but lately I've been uploading like two to three times a week. And I mean, it's only happened for like the past two weeks or something, but I kind of like it just because it keeps me busy. Before, when I was doing once a week, I would just be like playing video games all day, like being lazy to make content. And so when I do make up the content, I almost have no energy, but because I'm constantly have to make these videos now, um, I feel like I almost have more like energy, you know? So I like it. Now let's use this matte. It's like an ivory, oh, sh oh shit. There's, oh, can you see that? This cute, like, it's like a matte ivory shade with like very soft pink and purple shimmers in it. I've never seen a color like this. I'm using that like in this little space between my Aegis hair and that uh line I told you about. That really emphasizes your Aegis hair. Let's use the dark, very darkest shade in there. It's like a really deep brown shade that has a very beautiful pinky ready undertone. If you are a soft summer, this is the palette to have if you want more of like a pinky look because the thing about soft summers, you don't react to color very 
well, I guess, because color can immediately look like wham bam in your face. But this is just the right amount of dusty pink to get a pink look without it looking like, like pink. So I did my eyeliner and whatever is left on the bristles, I'm just going over the bottom waterline line, the inner corner here, and also maybe even a little bit on the eggs higher. Because sometimes when you put that light ivory shade over your egg desire, it can lighten the egg desire shadow that you put. So, you know, whatever is just left on the brush, I can I just run over that again. Now, you know, this is an Edward Avila video, so we cannot forgo shimmer. There's two beautiful shimmers. Let's try this one in the inner corner and this one just, you know, basic shit, just like on the lid. I take it on this like pointy, fluffy pencil brush. Actually, I don't know if this will go on very well. Let's see. Oh, oh that's very soft. <laughs> Let me try using my concealer brush. Oh my god. Holy. Can you see that? Oh. 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 There's not much of a base color. It's literally just a transparent base with purely just shimmer. So this is great to go on top of any eyeshadow color that look that you have going on. Or even, like I said in a previous video, if you literally just do like a soft brown eyeliner using eyeshadow, like in this palette, just use the dark, dark brown to create a soft wing. And they just put this on the lid and it would be the most beautiful, easy, everyday, sort of like, uh, like fancy, but like daily fancy look. Let's try this gorgeous shimmer right here. I think this one also has like a very transparent base. Holy shit. Oh, it's actually really similar to that last shimmer we used. But it's just a little bit more purple. You guys. Uh, oh shit, from far- okay. Oi. Oh my god, I'm such a dumb bitch. I forgot about this. I'm inserting this in- I'm filming this after the video, but I'm inserting in the middle. I forgot to use the liquid glitter. Let's try this. It looks really thick though, so I don't think it's gonna give me, like, the line of my dreams. Oh my god, I lied. Okay, I royally fucked that side up. This side, I didn't yang tozor. I put too much product on the applicator, so you need to do this. You need to wipe off the excess, and I didn't do it on this side. So that's why it looks like- all chunky and messy like this. This is what you get when you properly remove the excess from the applicator. This is what happens when you put too much. Lesson learned for both of us. <gasps> I need to calm down. It adds such a pretty pop to the eyes. Ignore this side. Uh, all right, babes. Let's try this blush, the love call. Love beam blur cheek. Oh my God, that's so cute. It's a little heart. Oh, and this color's so pretty. It's in the shade number five, lavender blur. And it's called lavender but it's giving very dusty, hazy, indie pink, and that's what I'm here for, honey. Oh yeah, this is definitely one of those colors that I myself would probably put this on before I powder my face because it's not sticking onto the powder. Like, oh, actually, hold on. That's actually really nice for a very soft look. Because I have that HD powder on first, it's blending on really well, but I'm like a huge fan of blush. So I like that like blush like on my face. Cause at least I can control it, you know? But this one, I can build it and build it and build it. It will just remain really soft and subtle, but that's never been a bad thing, has it? There's no visible line of demarcation. And that is a problem I myself can tend to have. So, wow, this could be, it's probably gonna be like my new go-to blush. Holy crap. That is so pretty. You guys, you guys. I'm kind of like happy that late, because back in the day, there would be a lot of hit and misses, right? But these days I feel like everything's a hit for me and that could be a good thing. That could be a bad thing. Good thing because that, that means I didn't waste my money. The bad thing because it makes me want to try more shit when I don't need to. I feel like I've already introduced this brand to you guys, but uh, it's this brand called Muse. And it's the sister brand to Rome and they have these cheek products they have some like uh, skin tints and they have several lip products and everything in the brand is supposed to be like actually like skincare or lip care but with color in generally the first lineup of colors were all very like either warm or neutral so obviously I picked up a lot of the neutral color stuff but they just came out with a new set of colors for their lip stuff and their cheek colors that are all very cool tone friendly and actually compared to a lot of like liquid or cream blushes I've tried, I actually really like theirs the most because it just goes on much smoother and it uh, the color isn't like wham bam in your face. So for me, on days where I want a very, very natural, just like, cause like I was saying, I don't like the look of me with like 
a flat face. I need to have something in my face, like color, especially for, for a soft summers, honey. Blush is kind of a must-have. And so those blushes are amazing to give that subtle look. And if I don't want like a really glowy base, I just put my foundation lightly, I'll put the liquid blush and then I just powder on top and it all works great together. But obviously today I already have blush and I powdered my skin already. So we're gonna try that for another video. But for today, I'm gonna use their new Care Lip Jewel in Tanned Hour. The one criticism I have though is the packaging. Like the packaging itself is really cute. The thing I don't like about this shit though is that, and also I've noticed about a lot of romance tints is that the shit gets all over the fucking cap. Like not on the cap, but the inside here. When you open it, right now it looks pretty, right? Like that. But honey, like you, after like four uses, this shit get, gets gunked up with so much lip tint. It gets everywhere and I hate that about it. I actually want to use my NYX lip gloss first to mute down my lips. This is like a must for me because I have such red pigmented lips. Okay, and then we're gonna put the lip jewel on in the center. Girl, what the fuck? This looks exactly like the other color I had from this line. This is what I get for always buying the same types of colors. <laughs> but it's still fucking pretty, so it's okay. If you have chronically dry lips, Chronically dry lips, you don't like to wear a lot of makeup, but you need color in your mouth because you look dead otherwise. This is like the product to have, right? Because it's lip care. I mean, there, you know, there's tinted lip balms and stuff, but I'm not a big fan of lip balms because I just feel like they cover the problem. They don't actually moisturize your lips. And this, as you use it throughout the day, it really does give you soft, well hydrated lip look. And, oh, that could be a little bit too shiny for every day. So what I do is just take a pencil brush and just blend out the like not even blend out but just tap the edge so it takes off a majority of that like shine that you don't need on the outside lip line uh, okay i don't know i'm not super wowed just because i have so many lip colors like this already i don't know why what i was expecting to get with this color i should have gotten the more berry colored one but you know this is fine too it's all right i just have so many of it okay Guys, the cushion was beautiful. Probably next time I would just use it more uh, sparingly and not so like heavy like I did. Concealer, it's a concealer. This mist, I'm not a huge fan of the actual mist itself, but um, I think it did, because I didn't use a moisturizer today, but it made my skin look really, uh, it prepped it really, actually let me use it now. It preps my skin really well for makeup and I don't like to talk about skincare like that where it's like, oh, it looks a great primer for makeup. I don't like, I, I like to say that it's a good prep for makeup because uh, there's a lot of people that don't wear makeup that watch my channel that, but honey, for me, the standouts, the standouts. Oh, by the way, this Day Chic palette, it was just okay. I have so many contour palettes. They all, they all, you know, I'm able to finesse these sorts of things to some degree. So it wasn't that standout to me, but honey, this eyeshadow palette, this was nothing formula wise, nothing new for me, but it's more so about the color story. And honey, this, the girls over at Lily by Red, they're coming right, they're coming right. Especially if you have more of like a yellowish, like tone to your skin. These colors will look so good on you because it will counterbalance like the yellow tone of your face. This news lip care stuff, in general, this product is great, but my the color I chose today, um, not bad, just not special to me. If you want like a great gift product for like a friend, like even like a guy friend, things like this, this new lip care stuff is great because you can use it every day and it gives you a little bit of color on your lips, but it's not like makeup, right? It's like lip care. Dance, 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 dance. I, don't, I don't like it. It's giving like Disney Channel and I'm not into it, but anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.